Hey everyone, we're going to evaluate the limit if it exists of this uh, expression here. So uh, the goal when you're doing the limits is just not automatically plugging in the 5. Because what will happen if you plug in 5 in the denominator, you'll get 0. And you can't divide by 0. So what you want to do is simplify your limit. And uh, notice that for this function here, uh, the domain is uh, such that x cannot equal 5. So let's look at this one and rewrite it. So I'm going to rewrite this and factor. Now if you have problems with factoring, you can probably use, since this is the lesson, we have x minus 5 here. Probably the numerator is x minus 5 too. If you have an x minus 5 here, then you're going to get uh, x minus 1. So if you have problems factoring, just uh, do that. Now, this does not equal x minus 1. You can't do that because this one, the domain, is x can't be 5. And this one, the, x can, uh, the domain, is x can be everything. So the, only, the way to solve that is to make sure you write the limit again because the limits are the same. Remember, this is just going to be a, a line down here. The first one is going to be, as we go to 5, uh, it's going to go to 4. So this first one is going to look something like this. And this one, this one is just going to be the same line without the hole in it. So you still have the same limit. So now once you have it to here, you just plug in the 5. And when you plug in the 5, you're going to get it equals 4. Or you can just say, you want to show more work, you'll just say 5 minus 1 equals 4. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.